buzzword and why wouldn't it be? One world is all we have and our world is at risk. Countries, corporates and citizens claim to be doing all they can to save the planet from climate change. Green energy is being floated as one of the top solutions. We are replacing coal with hydropower, fossil fuels with solar energy, petrol and diesel cars with electric vehicles. EVs are being pitched as cleaner, greener and sustainable. But are they? What's clean for the environment may not really be clean. Hidden beneath the shiny exteriors of an EV is a story of blood batteries. These cars drive human rights violations, extreme poverty and child labor. Hello and welcome to Gravitas Plus. I'm Palki Sharma Upadhyay. An electric car runs on battery, you know that. But do you know what these batteries are made of? Rare metals like lithium and cobalt. Cobalt gives the battery stability and allows it to operate safely. It's a bluish gray colored metal. It is found in the Earth's crust or what we call crustal rocks. Cobalt has several uses like in jet turbine generators, tool materials, pigments and smartphone batteries. But its major use is in lithium ion batteries. Half of the cobalt produced goes into electric cars. We're talking about 4 to 30 kilos of cobalt per battery. This metal is found all over the world, like in Australia, Canada, China, Cuba, South Africa, the United States, the Philippines. But 70% of the total supply comes from one country, Congo, the Democratic Republic of Congo. Let's zoom into this country. DR Congo is the second largest country in Africa. Its GDP is around $49 billion. Congo is synonymous with conflict, poverty and corruption. Beneath the country's red earth is the world's largest deposit of cobalt. 92 million people live here. Some 2 million depend on cobalt production. They are called negotiants. Cobalt mining in Congo is divided into two categories, industrial or large-scale mining and artisanal or small-scale mining. What's the difference between the two? Artisanal mines are unregulated. Labor laws do not apply here. Neither do safety protocols. These mines produce 20 to 30 percent of Congo's cobalt. Some 200,000 miners work in these mines. At least 40,000 of them are children, some as young as six. These children flirt with death daily. They enter vertical tunnels. Most of them are too narrow for adults to enter. Inside, it's like a furnace. The children dig for cobalt under inhuman conditions. Sometimes they have shovels, but mostly they dig with their bare hands. They have no masks, no gloves, no work clothes, and sometimes just 20 minutes worth of oxygen. But these young children go on for hours. After digging, they crush the rocks. They wash them and carry their finds to the market to find a buyer. How much do these children make? Sometimes as little as a dollar. Cobalt is a multi-billion dollar industry. It is estimated to be worth $13.63 billion by 2026. As little as a dollar? as little as a dollar for kilos of natural minerals of natural elements pieces of yourself see this is what I'm trying to tell y'all this got a lot to do with our biology and geology our makeup of the whole realm you picking up light at we what we forgot is that our whole realm is made up of the of soul right it's like See, but this is affecting our future when we want to do this again we can't even do it the way we want to do it because look at what we doing look at what she said it's becoming a necessity to send their kids to the mine you see the rappers with this jewelry on that they putting these fake price on. 
they putting fake prices on the jewelry. Not even knowing that shit is free. That shit growing out of the ground. It's like that stupid. It's, this is so. This is so. Wow. Seven, but this money never reaches a child who is spotting and extracting the metal. In poverty stricken Congo, even a dollar is worth risking one's life. Many die trying to make this money. ABC recently profiled a woman who lost her son to a mine-related accident. The boy was 13 years old. He told his mother he was going to the market to buy coal for her so that she could cook. Instead, the boy went to a cobalt mine to try and earn an extra buck for the house. The mine embankment collapsed. The 13-year-old never returned home. Between... Now, this is not crazy. We can say this is crazy. And them people can't even say no because of the state their country is in. You get it? The state mindset that they country accepted or just got engulfed in, not even realizing the actions, how deep their actions got the 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 them type of people just falling so now we leave reporters across the world to report this shit not making mainstream news the people picking them what we call this so-called jewelry and necessities and, and, and lithium batteries. If you see a good a good future in the world, you obviously don't get it. You don't get it. You lost. If this is good to you, what is hope? What is hope for real? What is faith? Hope and faith will not get this shit done. We can save these people. And and this is the killer part. Even though all skin folk ain't can folk, we supposed to be the ones. But we can't do nothing with these middlemen. The, all of these sons, these sons, these persons, the mask wearers, because that's how they got these people. They forged a thought on these people. They took all their natural everything and said, you got to do this to get some money this and your kids gotta die exposed exposed to low oxygen in order to live you gotta experience inhumane uh, situations cause to them that's when something unlocking that being and then you have an awakening man get out of here 2014 and 2015, at least 80 artisanal miners died in Congo. In 2019, an accident killed 43 miners. According to one estimate, 2,000 illegal miners die in Congo every year. Many suffer permanent lung damage, skin infection, and life-changing injuries. In 2019, some families from Congo filed a lawsuit. They named companies like Tesla, accused them Illegal miners. 
What is a illegal minor? Look at that stuff on the shovel. The cobalt. They got them people doing that. Kill yourself to live. But how would you be doing that? How would you live if you're killing yourself? They got the people in the whole shocking. That's why it's hard to get this shit across because it's shocking the truth. It's shocking. The truth is way more shocking than that shit that everybody wants to believe. ...of aiding and abetting in the death and injury of children. The lawsuit spoke about a child. He was referred to as John Doe 1. John was working as a human mule since the age of nine. He would carry bags after bags of cobalt just for $0.75 a day. One day, John fell into a tunnel. Fellow workers dragged him out of it, but they left John alone on the ground. When the child's parents found out about the accident, they rushed to the mining site. It was too late. John was paralyzed. Doctors say he will never be able to walk again. Why do children work in these high-risk mines? Because of poverty. And working for these people is worth it? In America, y'all go to work every day. Pretty much for this type of shit. So no matter how... How sparkly you try to make your situation no matter how sparkly you still doing the work of a low vibratory being because a high vibratory being is using using the tools Using the tools within this painting. That's ironic. I just said that. Within this 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 artistry, this creation, this this whole abundant abundance of greatness, man. Because if America keep accepting, <laughs> if America keep accepting the way, we're going to be like this. We're going to be just like this. Y'all keep thinking these people can change y'all lives. You're not changing your life because you got to go do something that's compromising what you really want to do to get by. You're not living, bro. You're not living. This shit, not living. But niggas will say when they go back home from doing that shit, boy, I'm living. Boy, I'm getting money. We stupid. We stupid. <laughs> and the whole hope to get out of it. Families in Congo are betting big on cobalt. It's like their crypto, their chance to make it big. The metal's demand has tripled in the last decade. It is expected to double again by 2035. The demand is being driven by electric vehicles. Today, there are more than 6.5 million EVs on the road. By 2040, that number will touch 66 million. So that's 66 million multiplied by 30 kilos of cobalt. Do the math. By 2050, the demand for cobalt production is expected to increase 500. Look, this is like, this is like they talking about a, a patient, right? This is like they talking about a patient that's expressing too much and they're experimenting on this patient. They're telling you what's happening when uh, they do certain uh, things, right? 
cobalt. Y'all think Chevy cobalts and shit. Y'all don't know they using our they using the, the ether to push their ideas like cobalt what helps sells the Chevy cobalt because it's a actual thing that we calling and using in reality and that's why I said it's affecting the, the, the future phases of the world because ain't nothing to go to but worlds And I learned that studying the body, the human anatomy. How are things coming? The 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 soil they pulling these um these elements out of it's like a dream. Because only in the dark is light manifested. Hold on. Only in the dark is light revealing itself, right? So they pulling the building blocks of life out of the earth. Because if you really kind of think about it, I'm about to start speculating. The planets is old earth and they revering them. We just don't know. We forgot. We forgot because we start listening to them. And they into evil things like this. They into eating their own kids. So. <laughs> the hunter gatherers never kill anything they wasn't going to eat. Why would they kill humans? 185%. Congo's families want to ride this wave and tide over poverty. Sending their children to the mines is not a choice for them, but necessity. These children end up working as artisanal miners or informal workers. They're not employed by any company, but several companies line up to buy their fines. You see, it is cheaper to buy cobalt from a child than a regulated mine. And who understands business better than China? Most of these companies dealing in blood batteries these are from China. It dominates the global supply chain of cobalt. China owns up to 50% of the metals production. It controls around 80% of cobalt's refining. In the last 15 years, Chinese companies have bought out North American... And you would expect that. I mean, China is always... They connect it to their soil. They connect it to... They use those teachings, so why wouldn't they own up to fifty percent of the production? Even though they know own you ain't what are you owning? You ain't you can't own nothing in this realm. They don't keep it real with us. You can't own nothing in this realm. So that's why the when you talk about ownership and shit like that, it's like what? Even when you passing something down, like my kid still got his own train of thought. Dude might not want that. We ain't teaching for individual fulfillment. We teaching for agenda. Agendas. Is how America's ran agendas. There's no a nigga walk up to you with a suit on, and you in the most poverty state, one of the most pover, poverty stricken states. <laughs> you better know. Can and European companies mining in Congo. Today, Chinese firms own 15 out of the 19 industrial mines in this country. In exchange for Congo's cobalt, China has promised the country billions in investment in the form of infrastructure, schools and roads. Now, Congo is another example of how stories featuring 
China never end well. Today, China is leaking blood cobalt into the supply chain of electric vehicles. Chinese companies are buying cobalt from children, encouraging them to participate in the trade of blood batteries. One of the largest cobalt processors in Congo is a company called CDM, or Congo Dongfang Mining. It is a subsidiary of Zhejiang Huayu Cobalt, a Chinese company, of course. Huayu supplies cobalt to electric car makers like Volkswagen. 40% of Huayu's cobalt comes from Congo. In 2016, the Chinese company was called out by an NGO. It was branded a benefactor of child labor. Huayu pledged to clean up its act. But remember, remember when Volkswagen just got hit with that emission uh, thing like three, four years ago? Hit with the emission uh, lawsuit. It's probably more years than that. You see what I'm saying? Because they're trying to find ways to um, power these cars, man. Because they know <laughs> the great mother but <clears throat> about to unleash a wrath on they dumb asses because it's like, yo, it's, she, they pulling too much from the, the dirt. This is... That's how everything is springing up here. So the karma won't be on them. They just using fake energy, which is money, to receive this cobalt and, and these other natural elements, tin and stuff like that. Our whole, for real, our whole existence is, is based on how we think so where are we taking the thought with this we got our kids dying to make a living they ain't learning nothing in between that time of breath <clears throat> and death that's worth them wanting to keep their breath like she said the kid was going to go to the supermarket, but he's instead he went to the mine to make an extra buck, and it collapsed because he's thinking, provide for my family. Then you become a sacrifice. But did anything change? on the ground. Reports raise serious doubts. This is one part of the story. There is blood in China's large-scale mines too. There, workers are abused, discriminated, beaten and made to work without contracts and sufficient ration. One worker told the media, and I'm quoting, if a worker dies, the Chinese don't report it to the government. They bury the person hiding the corpse and bribe the family to keep quiet. That's your electric car killing people even before it hits the road. Did you sign up for this? The world's biggest car makers are complicit in these crimes. I'm talking about the likes of Tesla, Volvo, Renault. So that's fair. That's fair. Look at these names. Look at their logos. Renault, as above, so below. Tesla. With the opening gate and Volvo, <laughs> with the gap where the sperm hit at, they using whole symbolism. But why though? Like, how are we letting our reality be controlled by some people we know? Are we scared? Are we not paying attention? Are we trying to act like we don't see this? Are we not seeing this? No, Mercedes-Benz, Volkswagen, they all source cobalt from Chinese mines in Congo. Sure, they claim to have a zero tolerance policy when it comes to child labor. 
but they too know. I bet y'all won't stop paying them. I bet y'all won't stop paying them. They doing our people like this. And I'm saying our people because when you when we talking energy, bro, it don't matter what the fuck color you is. For real, for real. That's so immature of you. So what are we doing? Everything that's made up in our realm right now, everything that we're using is convenience. Everything we're using as convenience, the materials, the cars, like she talking about the cars we we uh, was once alive. That's what the minerals and shit, cope all that. It's alive. But then when when these people that get it with this train of thought of entrepreneurship and trying to sell you something and investing in all this bull ass shit. You got to be praising death, man. You praising death. It's limits to everything in life. It's limits. And I see that people don't know how to draw limits. Like, even to fight for what's, what you deem is what you want to fight for. What you want to fight for and what you need to fight for. See, I think people getting a different, getting it confused for real, for real on what to fight for and what they need to fight for. But then you got to think about the fight and flight response. Like, come on. Now you know so much, you know the consequence of being punished if you go against. What the, this shit they've been doing for years. And just because we've been, they've been doing it for years, we say, we don't say shit. We don't say shit. There is no way to fully map their supply chains. Back in Congo, President Felix Chishikedi has pledged to act. In 2019, he established a state-run company to focus on health and human rights. But that hardly helps when Congolese officials are accused of overseeing child labor. In 2020, Tesla announced it would start using cobalt-free lithium-ion batteries in its electric vehicles, but the company followed up the announcement with a deal with Glencore. It's a cobalt mining company, and this deal was for 6,000 tons of cobalt a year. 6,000 tons a year. Doesn't add up, does it? Much like the claim of electric cars being clean, these cars run on dirty energy, on blood batteries. And this is not climate solution. This is human rights abuse. And the two cannot coexist. Climate solution is not supposed to be at the expense of human lives. Long story short, electric vehicles have miles to go before. It's dirty energy because the people picking it don't have the best intentions. They're just trying to get it for a quick. This is nothing. This is nothing. Let me pick it up, put it in this bag. Hurry up. And get it so I can get my family some food, man. So I can get my family whatever, man. Or so I can get me something. When you thinking like that, that that's little that's little energy. That's little bit. That ain't good. That don't that don't lead to nothing worth even seeing. That's why we think new jeans and shirts we personify and shit like that is nice. Think about where you at with it. To where you wear nice clothes.
for they can claim to be clean.